Hi guys, how are you? I know you missed me. Anyway, I know it's been a minute, but yeah, once again, my name is Mwesiwa Joy, aka Spicy J, and this is TIG Vibration. So before I start um, with our topic today, uh, I have a surprise for you guys. So um, I have a new host on set today, our new host, her name is Pitat. So we'll be talking to us um, in a minute. Yeah, so we'll be talking to us. So anyway, so today I'm here to talk about a very serious issue together with Pitat, yeah? So according to the Constitution of Uganda, Article 59, Part 2, it states that a child is anyone below the age of 18 years. And also according to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, according to UNICEF, a child is a person under 18 years but i'm sure we all know this we have learned it from primary yeah i just want you to be sure so um today we are going to talk about views on relationships in high school you know most times most times people in high school and below are below 18 years they are children and these things of relationships happen so and it's something we don't normally talk about because um we are told most okay most african children are told don't get a boyfriend if you get a boyfriend we will you'll get pregnant boys are going to kill you i tell you what when you look at a boy those things that people say to scare us but yeah so today we are here to talk about relationships in high school openly and how um children should go about these things yeah before we start these our opinions from different people we yeah, have these opinions from different people and us talking about this does not mean that it's our personal life it could be something we learned from other people and anywhere so yeah and also um feel free to comment on any of our social media platforms tig network africa on youtube instagram facebook uh, tiktok so we also get your opinion and yeah because your opinion matter matters yeah so yeah uh -huh. What's your first view? Like, what do you think about relationships in high school? Okay, first of all, I think I think the parents are right to to like limit us because the truth is, when we are in high school, we are in adolescence, and we all know what happens. You feel like you can attract the attention. Yeah, you feel like you can just look at someone and boom they like you you get so i think it's it's very good for parents to to limit us and be like you know what you should not get a boyfriend but at a point i feel like towards i feel like we need it i feel like we need to okay not really like the deep relationship like the way um we are when we are like at campus or when we are grown up but like i think we need it a bit to prepare us for like for future use for future <laughs> use because eh, wow <laughs> it's really hard out here and now imagine someone has been like um someone is new to these things and they they keep you may find someone is some 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 girls who are like who have grown up like from the village they don't know how to say no you get they don't know how to say no you grow up you find they have done things but it's all because they didn't know they were not told of course parents don't tell you don't say no when someone is like this don't say no they never tell you to to stoop low for anything except maybe some parents can tell their children know your value yeah know your value this this and that but uh, other children are not told those things i actually think i understand where you're coming from parents parents should refuse us but i you know thing is with that parents talk like parents <laughs> let me tell you i don't think there's a parent who, okay there are some parents who are free with their children they're like you dead you even tell me who your boyfriend is but most parents like 90 percent tell their children don't date but guess what those kids those poor kids uh, that they refuse uh, the most are the ones who who, who are eh, doing that yeah. stuff but me i think i think if parents i'm not trying to blame parents get me right but I feel like once you tell a kid, once you tell a child, don't do this, attach a reason to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, tell me, Joy, don't date because 
you may become pregnant or it's going to distract you in school or it's going to do this to you. Like once you attach a reason and this child messes up, then the child doesn't need to mess up, you get exactly. But once you tell me, don't date, you just tell me that. And there's always been seven shy to talk about this. Exactly. becomes awkward and then you're in the car and then you're looking then don't date <laughs> then the car becomes quiet for like 10 minutes like it's awkward i think this should be something that like we should be free to talk about like tell me even if you have an experience as a parent i would love to hear it like okay. tell me this and this will happen yeah. this boy does not necessarily like you you guys are just i feel like that's not even love <laughs> yeah of course high school it's things not, i don't it's love it's never love because boys are always trying to experiment i can get this girl you get i can get i think they've been doing competitions yeah. like who will get her first and you're there you're vulnerable what okay even boys and big boys can be vulnerable but like at a very low <laughs> right. yeah but like i feel like this is something we should be open about like very. just okay this is my own opinion before i start High school relationships are a waste of time. Yes. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me let me, uh -huh. let me tell you something. It's because like no, I look around, I remember all the high school couples. People start dating from S1, first mm -hmm. of all. But, but primary, I've heard of primary. Even baby class. <laughs> <laughs> but like this world, let me tell you, even if it's HSC dating, look around you yourself in your life and look at all the high school couples. Are they still together? Are they still together? Uh-huh. Are they still together? And I feel like sometimes even some guys are like, ah, let me get this boyfriend when I reach when I reach back. I mean, when I'm going to campus, me, I want to get a rich boyfriend. I want it because people they they just then you there. break someone's heart. You find someone's reason of dating, and it's really very childish. And for you being genuine, I, Bambi Musa may be terrible if you're in high school right now <laughs> just and you're seeing this. Your books because so maybe terrible of you. You, you can even look actually someone you said dating someone then they're asking you how many how many people have you dated but you're like ah ah <laughs> senior one to senior this i do not count those ones because guess <laughs> what was the, uh, uh, because you you end up being like ah uh, and now this one now this one i didn't love them you find someone dated like eight people at once and you're like eh, i can't count all of those people you get so i actually think and, and you know, it's just, the reason I'm saying it's a waste of time, eh? you remember high school, eh? by the way, before, by the way, this is not our personal life, as I said, yeah. <laughs> but I remember high school, there's a way like, okay, me, I was in a miss school for HSC, maybe, that's what I know, but like, people are spending prep together, mm -hmm. then uh, the whole of the weekend, you're together, smile, you're listening to music, or why you've gone to the pitch to walk around, and now you're not together, you've uh, got two points uh, in uh, HSC, <laughs> <laughs> you're not together, like, you got what I mean, like, mm -hmm. Like, I feel like if do one thing at a time. Okay, I know there's that thing of experience. Of it, yeah, and there are people who can, who can cope up with studying and, and also the relationship. But still, there is that part that it takes away from still, you. Still, you will chop breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, another, my view, my, my view would be um, another thing. Okay, I feel like these children are not emotionally uh, ready yes, for all. these relationships. Like, I don't even know how to start. Like, do you know what it means to date? Like, I think that's why there's so much brokenness in dating and what, because you don't know what you're doing. This person breaks you, you're in S2, you can't talk to your parents. Exactly. Because hmm? those are people who love you the and most. And your friends will talk shit, definitely. They'll say, hey, this one, hey, this one's broke up already. <laughs> people are laughing. Yeah. You're there crying. Then you get another one. It's like, for example, now someone has broken your heart. By the time you reach campus, you reach at the right person. One, uh -huh. of one piece is at City uh -huh. Square, uh -huh. another piece of the heart is in Masaka, another one is in Seta, another and one is in even, Bundo. You can't even trust the, the person you've got because you think they are just like those guys that broke your heart. Anyway, since uh, this whole talk, we've been talking about um, the, our views. So I think it is time for us to get views from the public because uh, we put a sticker on our Twitter page and actually our first comment um, we are not going to disclose people's names for security reasons so the first one is um, love is natural 
and you can't stop how you feel about someone and as a child if you love someone it would be hard to refuse so i'm definitely okay with dating in high school okay so first of <laughs> all hmm? okay yeah love is natural that's true but okay children still have to be told they have to be told anyway i i don't agree with that thing where they um they came children just because of that i think they just have to cancel them if they commit it cancel go back for counseling feed them with counseling and you'll see trust me you will see a change i think love is natural what is love <laughs> <laughs> what is love let me tell you, i saw some um there's a a preacher is it Bishop T. D. Jex? You guys should check him out. He was saying that love is not a feeling. You know those things you be there and you feel chills and butterflies. That is not love. Love is what you do despite of what you feel. I don't know if I make sense. Like, love is like people misunderstand love for. I see this guy. He looks like, good. He looks good. I'm just like, <gasps> oh, okay. You like that? I don't think. Anyway, I don't think that is love. I think and that's puppy love. That's one last or puppy love. I don't know whatever yeah. that is. But like anyway, as you say, these children need to be cancelled. Yeah, they need to be cancelled and told how to handle these feelings. Because okay, this person is right, Bambi. It's okay, the feelings are natural. Yeah. They come with adolescence. But these children need to be cancelled and they need to be told that it's okay. It's actually okay to feel these things. Because yeah. I've ever had a friend who used to beat herself up like I'm trying but I like this person, you get. Yeah. So they need to know it's okay, but still there are boundaries that you should put. Do that make sense? I know I make sense. You'll tell me if I make sense in the comments. If you disagree, it's uh -huh. all and good. Anyway, so um, I'll also read a comment from this he or she. Okay, I know, but I won't tell you. So <laughs> this person says, I think parents should create a mood where are their children Feel free to share with them their love life as early as when the child starts getting into adolescence because it is definitely expected for these young stars to follow feelings. Okay, I think, I think they are, that person has something because you see like whites, they, they are, okay, they create that bond and they're like, oh, my mom is my best friend, my mom is my best friend. So they literally tell them everything okay not everything but they tell them uh i met this boy what what you get then they're like then they said ah tell me about this boy then they will tell them then you'll the parent will be like i think that boy loves you yeah and then maybe like the way they said parents have to tick off whether you can date get or not. not so that's the part where it's like Okay, I think you can try, but don't go all in, you get. That's the part where you can try, yeah. And then I, I have my parents' permission to date, so. Actually, I think this person makes a point because, you see, as a parent, if you're free with your child, eh? now, if the child comes and tells you, I have this boy, I tell you, he, he likes me, what, what, it's easier. Actually, do you know, it's easier to control this child who has told you exactly. than the secretive child. You get what I mean? Like, it's easier to know how to handle this child. Because even if you refuse, sometimes, we're talking about Mudonde, but trust me, any high school person who will listen to this and will they are determined date. to date, will date. They will. But if they have a relationship with their parent, because mm -hmm. trust me, okay, in most cases, your parents are people who love you the most on this earth. Mm -hmm. So if they wish you the best so if you're open with them and there's that yeah i think it can work out anyway as we come to an end mm -hmm. we've been talking about relationships eh? and by the way you could think these are rather worse people but then they are these ninjas uh -huh, those friends ones. with benefits yeah. <laughs> you get what i mean you get what i mean i don't know First, yeah like I'm give... sure you know what we mean we that... don't have to elaborate this but i'm sure we all think properly and we can understand very well. I'm sure you've heard about it somewhere. Me for those ones, I have no comments. You know yeah, what you're doing. you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, ne maybe next, maybe we'll make an episode about that. Another episode yeah, that. at another time. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, feel free to give your views in the comments on our YouTube channel, TIG Vibration, TIG Network Africa, or on our Twitter page. Um, you'll find the, the comments there. I mean, the post where we asked this question. Uh, 
we asked you for the views about high school relationships so drop your comments we'll be reading them in the next episodes yeah feel free to give your opinion no, no matter how yeah weird it may sound or mm -hmm. yeah so yeah we have come to the end of the show thanks for having us yeah we shall be yours <laughs> anyway thank you very much for listening listening to us and uh hope you have a beautiful week yep yeah catch you next time on our next episode <laughs> <laughs>